God the Almighty, the most merciful, the most compassionate, did not create the hellfire to just throw people in it, nor does he want to. In fact, God asks a rhetorical question in his book, stating, What can Allah gain by your punishment, if you are grateful and believe? And ever is Allah appreciative and knowing. God is not going to get anything from punishing anyone, and he wants reasons not to do it. In fact, God states in his holy Quran that he created mankind and jinn to worship him, glorify him, and exalt him, as he is the only one worthy of worship. And he states in another verse, from his end, he created mankind so that he could show them mercy, except whom your Lord has given mercy, and for that he created them. God introduced himself to mankind in his holy book, stating Alhamdulillah, which translates, all praise and gratitude belong to Allah as everything he does is perfect and praiseworthy, and nothing can be wrong with his plans. God then goes on to state, he is the master of everything, including the universe, the heavens, the earth, and everything it contains, including all people, and he has complete control of everything and everyone, and he can do as he pleases. God uses the word master instead of creator to emphasize he is the master, and we are his slaves and servants. One needs to realize that he or she is a slave and that God is his or her master and one cannot question him or his authority nor do they have any right to. A master can be just and kind or can be unjust and unkind. Allah the Exalted then goes on to say, He is the all-merciful master. If one accepts that he or she is Allah's slave and submits to him fully, he or she would find that God is the most beneficent, the most merciful as 113 out of 114 of his chapters in his book start with the phrase in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, to remind mankind of his mercy. Only when one submits to his master does one find his or her life become easier and better. Why would God want to punish an individual when he created him or her with love and mercy in the first place? God wants to warn his servants about hell now so one can fix themselves and avoid it to their best of ability. It is best to be informed about the hellfire now and to recognize its severity, harshness, and how gruesome its punishment is in detail than it is to come across it in the hereafter, unprepared and not knowing of it. That in itself is a huge mercy, as God could have chosen not to warn one beforehand of the consequences of his or her actions. While God is all-merciful, he is also all just. He states in the Quran, Indeed, Allah does not do injustice, even as much as in Adam's weight. If one commits murder or oppresses an individual, God may punish that person to be just to the person killed or oppressed, or to be just to the family member of the one being killed or oppressed. God states every soul shall receive their full compensation for the good and evil deeds they committed on the day of judgment. Additionally, if God allows the oppressors to oppress without punishing them, it would encourage more people to oppress and to commit evil, which would spread corruption even further. The fear of punishment indeed prevents some people from committing evil. God has also stated that He will surely forgive any soul that repents from their sins as He is extremely forgiving and extremely loving. There are certain individuals that want to blame God for going to hell because they do not want to fix their act, face reality, or be held accountable for their actions. It's important to realize, whether one accepts or believes in God and the hellfire or not, it does not change the reality that God and the hellfire do indeed exist, and one will soon find out. O oh, you who have believed, protect yourselves and your families from a hellfire whose fuel is people and stones. Quran 66.6 6. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.